Welcome to Sublender Barbox channel. Today I'll show you how you can create the wrecking ball animation destroying the cubic objects. So first select everything and delete. Now go to mesh and select the torus. Now we'll arrange the position of the torus. Rotate the torus along the X go to edit mode then make it transparent then select the upper part now press G and move along the Z axis so we have now the smallest element of the chain so shift D to duplicate then rotate it along the Z. So this will create our chain. So next, select both, then Shift D and repeat the same process. Now to automate this, you just need to press Shift plus R shift r that is so this will automatically add the last action so we have now the full chain so select the bottom part and now let's go to the physics tab and click on rigid body so we are assigning physics properties change the shape to mesh so select everything so to copy the character of this one to the rest of the chain press f3 and then rigid body and copy from active and if you press spacebar the object falls because now we have applied physics property but we don't we don't want it to our object to disappear so let's bring it a little bit up here so let's first create a surface mesh plane resize the plane now while the plane is selected go to physics tab and rigid body and make this passive now let's play the animation as you can see the chain will lie on the plane but we still uh, want to make the chain fixed on a single point. So select the upper part. Now let's make the top part dynamic. And as you can see, now our chain is hanging in the air. So uh, the bottom part is a little bit tall, so I'll just delete the lower part. As you can see now, the chain is hanging in the air because it's fixed at the top part. Okay, the next part is to add the wrecking ball itself. Go to edit mode, select the lower parts. So you can select the bottom half part. And then shift S and then cursor to select it. Now shift A to add an object. Let's add UV sphere. And we can resize this. We can drag it to the lower parts so it doesn't have to be detached. Now it's attached to the last chain element. Okay, looks good. Right click and shade smooth. Now we have our wrecking ball. Let's play the animation. Okay, looks like our ball is touching the plane. So 
maybe we can move the plane a little bit lower to allow the the full length of the chain to be hanged okay so i'll move the chain a little bit lower and play the animation so it's still touching it so you can still move the plane further down a little bit and see what happens maybe a little bit more g and move it along the z all right now it looks good there's a gap between the plane and the ball so it looks okay okay so our uh, next element is to create the cubic shapes that are going to be destroyed before that uh, select the top parts and cursor to select it and Let's create a pivot 3D cursor. Now select everything and rotate it along the Y. This will be the initial position of the wrecking ball. So if we play the animation now, as you can see, our wrecking ball is moving left and right really now we have some momentum okay that's great so let's add our cubes now let's move the cursor to the plane shift a mesh and then the cube okay the cube is a little bit lower than the plane so we'll move the cube to the top part of the plane okay that, lo that looks good now we need to duplicate this let's apply the modifier an RE modifier so let's increase the count we are now adding cubes on the X direction so let's add a little bit of gap here so they look separate objects you can reposition the box as you wish let's bring it to the middle part for maximum impact okay that looks good so we need to do the same apply along the y axis also so we can make the x zero in this case and here also we can make it look then add a gap and increase the count number now we have boxes aligned along the Y. So let's reposition it to the center again. So we've added boxes to the X and the Y direction. Now let's do the same in the Z direction to create a stack of boxes. Let's add another modifier, array modifier, this time along the Z axis. So make sure the X is zero. And to create some gap, let's add some dimensions. All right. Now increase the count number to get the optimum elevation. Okay, this looks okay. Okay, apply the modifiers in the order that you apply them. 
now we will define the properties of these boxes so select everything p and uh, separate by selection to make them separate objects where they are selected go to the physics tab rigid body and let's make this the dimensions 0 0.01 kilogram for each about 10 gram of each and press f3 and copy from active to copy the property of the cube to the rest of the other cubes okay another thing is while they are selected go to objects say to origin and origin to geometry okay now it's ready for the simulation yeah if you click on each you can see they have the same characteristics let's play the animation and see what happens yeah as you can see it's working now the wrecking ball is now destroying all the stacked boxes if you want you can vary some dimensions like you can increase the wrecking ball weight to like from one to three kg that will increase the impact here as you can see so that's pretty much everything for today i hope you enjoyed today's tutorial this will be a good starting way to get started with the physics tab and also a good beginning for animations so let me know if you have any difficulty performing this animation creating this animation and i'll see you next time with another blender tutorial thank you for watching bye